All right, today we're going to talk about items that are important in Lesson 1.1 in your text, which is on bar graphs and dot plots. And you can follow along in your text on pages 39 through 45. Some important vocabulary from this section includes the following that you see on your screen. A pictograph, like you see up here with the CD sales. A pictograph is a graph with symbols showing the number of data items in each category. Each symbol or picture stands for a certain number of items. And we can see in this one that one little circle CD is equal to one CD, so as many numbers of CDs. But you also might see one CD equals ten CDs or something like that. Next vocab is data. Data is just a collection of information, numbers, or pairs of numbers, and usually it's from a real world situation. In this case, our data would be the numbers of CDs of the different types. A bar graph, there's an example of a bar graph down here on your screen. This is also from your text. It is a data display in which bars are used to show measures or counts for various categories. In this example, you see that the different months for students' birthdays are shown, and the different bars show how many students have each birthday in that month. A category is just a group of data with the same attribute. For example, in this bar graph that we are seeing here, the categories are the months. A spread is a property of one variable data that indicates how the data values are distributed from least to greatest and where gaps or clusters can occur. In this example, our spread is the 12 months on the birth, on the birth months. So the spread goes from January all the way to um, December. And we'll look more at spread in the next type of graphs, which is dot plots. And dot plots in this example, our spread is from 56 over on this end all the way to 96 on the other end. So that's our spread. A dot plot is, again, only using one variable data, so just looking at data about one thing, in which each data value is represented by a dot above that value on a horizontal number line. So you start with a number line. In this case, we're going from 56 to 96. And then there's a dot showing that somebody had a pulse rate at 56, someone had a pulse, two people had pulse rates at 60, one person had a pulse rate at 68, and you just stack. If there's more than one, you put one above. If we had another person that had a pulse rate of 75, you just put another dot above 75. The range of a data set is the difference between the maximum and minimum values in a data set. This is really easy to see in the dot plot above. The maximum is 96 and the min is 56. So our range is 96 minus 56, or 40. The minimum is the least value in a data set. The minimum in the graph above is 56. The max is the greatest, which we already said was 96. The interval the set of numbers between two given numbers or the distance between two numbers on a number line or axis. We look up above, we can see that these intervals are going up every one. 72, then there's 73, 74, 75. So there's an interval of one between each little hash mark. Sometimes you'll see intervals where you go from 10 to 20 to 30. These have an interval of 10 between each little hash mark. So it's important when you're graphing that you always use even intervals. You wouldn't want to go, and now I got 0, 10, 20, 30, and now I have 32. And this interval shows a dis difference of 10, and this one only shows a difference of 2. That doesn't make sense, and we wouldn't do that. So you always have to use even intervals when you're graphing. OK, we have um, a lot of talk about statistics in this chapter. Statistics are just used to summarize or represent a data set. They also refer to the science of collecting, organizing, and interpreting information. They can help us describe a population or tell us what is normal, but you have to be careful because they're not always completely accurate. Sometimes they can be used misleading, and you just have to watch out what you're doing. So in this chapter, we will learn more about statistics, graphs, and and how to use them. Thank you.